Hi, right, welcome back to Tower. Today we're just going to review on Diana Jones' four songs that is been through the whole four weeks on Friday. So that'll be Muddy Water, Bad Habit, Bad Habit, sorry, um, Signs, and Talk in the Morning. Plus, I'm going to talk about like, because he's going on tour between August and September. So there's a bit of, mm, bit of trouble with like the VIP thing and all that. Well, I'll talk about that later on. So I'll talk about the four songs that Danny released. So even though like I love Danny like because he's an amazing singer, like so talented, like made made songs and amazing at the fly of course. I wish like one day that fly would come back but you know I'm happy with all of them did their own thing at the moment. And even though Danny's like amazing dad to Cooper his son Cooper of course and being an amazing coach on a voice kids UK at the moment. It's just showing his true personality, he's funny, he's down to earth, he's talented and I just love him to bits. So I thought it was only almost like one single, I thought it was just um, muddy, at the time when I seen it, it was just muddy water. Um, but because I seen him on his Twitter, um, he said like, keep, not keep, put your notifications on to find more um, instruments. So I kind of knew it was going to be a tour. <laughs> I don't know why, I just knew straight away because I knew it wouldn't be an album because he has been like writing and creating music in his house because he's got a studio uh, in his house with lovely, his gorgeous wife George and of course Cooper, his little son. Um, I thought it'd just be one song and a tour of but it was not. So it was Muddy Water and Fear of Songs of course, so it was like Pat Abbott's uh, Signs and talking on so I was like so happy thanks Danny I'm so happy like getting here like loads more music even though I've never heard these songs before because he actually has um performed these before um so because he did one gig before and that's how because it went so really well like because all the fans turn up and probably knew people who's never heard him live before and um, so he's been that whole UK tour so even though I didn't know he's performed these ones live, I've seen it on YouTube. Um, so the gig goes at is at Yo2 Academy um, Ellison, so it's the 25th of the 6th, 2018. I think he's going to that venue again on the new tour. Let me just check. Um, no, I don't. I don't think so, is it? No, I don't, no, don't think so. I think it's different venues. But I'll tell you the dates and places later on. Um, but my opinion on the songs. All the songs are amazing. Um, I love how the different sounds. I will tell you what the means behind the song because Danny put um, like videos like the song made them. But the one I have not got for one is the last one. It's just came out talk in the morning because because I know like on Twitter and his Facebook account he's usually very good talk, he's talked about the song but I haven't seen it yet because it's just recent but I'll try and just tell him on put it when it comes to it I'll just get it done from Ben because it'll be so the first one in this of course was Muddy Water I just thought it'd be the only one it wasn't because of fear so he said for Muddy Water the song is about getting out of that situation or being brave enough to change the situation which the song is so good, I love it to bits. You can hear like Danny's voice, like even though it doesn't matter what song he sings, like slow or um sorry, behavior. That's why my nose is a wee bit itchy, or you probably even sit in the whole video. Blah, blah, blah. Um, like emotional ballads, or if it's upbeat, uh, ones that get one singer or dancing doesn't matter what anything. But Muddy War, mm mm, that song is so good. I love it. It's so good catch you and then sorry no no me so the next one that came out was bad habits so Dan's three bad habits is biting nails and uh, being late so it doesn't matter like if it's doing like interviews or trying out for videos or maybe like events like uh, awards or concerts anything has always been like that and then the last one is um, Bad Up on the Dishwasher. 
But I've never got much like free bad habits. I say most of my bad habit you've probably seen before I was talking about this bait my nails. I have got a real bad habit of biting them. I'm trying my best not to bite them, but I think if I paint them, because they've not been painted in a good well, I think I'll stop biting. And then sometimes I put like a hand, um, uh, what would I say? A hand gel, like kind of like that. That's kind of good because it's kind of like me. So the next one is signs. So Danny said, uh, can read my writing. Oh, being to someone and they're not giving anything back. So that's like, um, see, like, for instance, like you fancy someone or you want to like, ask them out but find it hard to ask him or because he's he had that same situation, um, with his wife Georgia because that within a year of getting to getting her, of course, being with her now, um, because I think the time. Um, he was trying to get out. I think she was with someone else. I think a number because I know he did an interview. I seen on YouTube, but I think that's what he talked about because she was in a relationship, and he found it hard to just asking around trying to get her, and it's worked out within within a year. Married life and a gorgeous boy Cooper with him. So the last one is talking the morning. This is going to be hard for me trying to describe what, I don't know what they mean behind this song, I mean, because usually, because of other videos like on Facebook and Twitter that I find out what the songs mean, but Talk in the Morning, the song's like, it's like catchy and it's a really good song, it's different from all the other ones, um, but Danny's voice is amazing again, it doesn't matter, all the songs, I love them, there's like different styles. Um, but talking about it's so good, um, even though I've never heard it live, I'm excited to hear it, um, but I'll say in a minute, because <laughs> I'm trying to say something else before I'm trying to see what it's going to say, um, but talking about it's a good song, I love it to bits, um, but if I had to pick one favourite song out of it, even though I do love them, it'd have to be Signs, because it's like so different. <laughs> Um, it's so catchy. There's a bit in it that goes, <laughs> sorry for me singing, <laughs> but I just wanted to show you because it's so catchy and it's upbeat, so you can probably dance as well. But all of them are really good. And if he does like an album in the future, eh, I'll be so buying it because <laughs> I don't mind because I love Danny so much. And I am excited to hear All Name Life because. I did mention that Danny is going on a tour, and we get to see him Glasgow. Ooh, it's been ages since I've seen him before my life. Last time I seen him perform was my fly the Ethology tour, so that was pretty nice. <laughs> you probably think you're crazy, but it wasn't like the same um, like show for three nights. It was like different. It was like a different thing that I don't think any band or uh, artists or bands done done before. So, McFly's Anthology Tour, I'll just get this out the road, um, so the three nights it was like all the albums, which I thought this is clever, but I kind of knew something's up, like why are they doing this, like are they taking a break or something like that, because it was like all the albums, or are they just celebrating because like so many years of business McFly. So like night one was Room in the Flood Floor, um, a couple extra songs, and me singles that have already at least with it, um, like in the future, um, not in the future, within the career I think, and then, oh yeah, and because they've got the fans to us, um, I saw maybe they've never formed, not in a while, but I wanted to hear Red because I love that song, because Danny's voice is like so good, it's like music entertainer, I hope he gets to perform it again, please, I hope he gets to perform it before, but no. We had all about you, which was so annoying because I had to hear it for two nights. Because the second night was, yeah, it was two albums. It was Wonderland and Motion in the Ocean. Because all about you, someone, um, Wonderland, the second album, the flower and it. And I know you put it in it twice. I do love that song, but sometimes I can get fed up um, hearing it. 
so many times because they filmed it so many times live. And then the last night was Radioactive and Above Noise. Radioactive is my favourite album at Fly least, even though the Above Noise is not their best album. But there's still a couple of good songs on that, even though some are a bit cringy and think, mm, I skip it. But it's still a good album to listen to. But I'll just tell you the dates. But there was a wee bit of a problem when this first came out because there's VIP, you know that? Um, I'll tell you the dates and then I'll tell you the situation that it's happened to do with tickets. So it just says a Danny Jones UK Tour 2018. So I don't know if you'll see it, but because of lightning. But so it's a picture on his Twitter account and that's the dates but if you haven't seen the bill I'm going to tell what dates are and where he's coming to and then if you can't see or hear what I'm trying to say I'll put a link on his Twitter to see if you want that. <coughs> so the first night is Saturday <coughs> oh sorry but something's stuck my throat Oh, come on. Saturday the 31st August, Glasgow Garage. Woohoo, that's my date. Got to see him in Glasgow. So that's my second time seeing him. Well, not seeing like, Danny, because I've seen Danny perform so many times. But my first time, like, seeing him on his own, which is going to be weird, but I'll get used to it. But I was trying to say it was the second time in the venue of the garage. Because I haven't been, like, a lot. I've been at, like, one scene, the band the tide which I did love so much at the time but not anymore because it's so much cured but I know also like many singers and bands that I like so much I always put the Glasgow date first but I know it's a couple of artists they've put like recent um, Glasgow between like middle and the end which is kind of weird but I'm excited but I'm kind of nervous like um finding out the songs is going to like sing because usually I like Maybe a couple of days after it because I like want to set set this and then know what songs I want get to hear on my record because I do record loads of videos. Um, but I know on the dates he's not taking a break but she's being clever. But depends if he can cope and try and remember lyrics because sometimes he forgets his lyrics. So the next day after Glasgow is Sunday the 1st of September at Sheffield Leadmill. I think I said that right. Um, next one is Monday the second, <coughs> sorry, um, September, Burnham O2 Institute 2. I think I've been that venue before. I'm trying to remember. I know because I've been at Birmingham before, seen uh, Nathan Sykes. Oh my god, see him right? I think so. It's just because I think I've got something with some throat. It's not coming right. I think that was the same venue I went to see him before, or because it was an O2 venue, but I'm just trying to remember what was it that one? Because <laughs> it's been ages. And um, the next one is Tuesday the 3rd uh, September, Norwich Waterfront. Wednesday the 4th September, Manchester O2 Ritz. And um, next one is Thursday the 5th September, London O2. Shapers Bush uh, Empire and then the last day of the tour is Friday the 6th September so that's Brighton Con Concord 2 I think it is but this is ticketmaster.co.uk Danny Jones for tickets but this is um, the bit troubles and fans were not, not happy about so there was a pre-sale in O2 I'm trying to remember what two days it was. I think it was a Wednesday and a Thursday. So the fans thought like when they bought the like, PCO or two of the polls thought they'd maybe get an upgrade maybe later on when the tickets went on sale on Friday. Um, I can't remember what date it was on Friday. Um because I would have should have put in, I should have wrote down <coughs> sorry. What I was trying to say, I should have wrote down the date which the tickets did go on sale then you kind of know what date, but me, I've just lost it or can't remember. But the fans probably thought when the tickets like, went on a uh, Daniel sale on the Friday that day, um, that would be like an upgrade to so getting VIP. But 
because I tried on Ticketmaster on when it went on sale um, 9 o'clock on a Friday um, there was it went straight usually on ticket usually it goes straight on the ticket um, massive website but it, <coughs> I can't speak tonight and I just want to film this video um, it went on to ticket was it ticket web or something like that and it was saying there was no tickets available or something like that so I was looking for Twitter seeing like where the heck am I got tickets and then I focus a call um, AX which I didn't think they were selling tickets and they had VIP which people thought oh that was maybe the upgrade or did you have to buy a digital ticket to get that no there was a ticket with it so that was 75 quid which I have bought so I'm getting to meet and greet and see Danny live which I'm so excited because it's been ages since I've met Danny um, but it'd be good to catch up because sometimes like like are some bands that like they don't come to Glasgow a lot but even though they do come to Glasgow now again but then I don't have the time or if it's like the day I can't make it um because it had like a good package for like meet and greet so of course you get meet and greet you're getting discount merch I don't know how much you're getting off when I'm um, buying the merch which I'm excited to see um, what nice stuff I've got in the merch when I do see them live um, of course you'll get in early before the standard well of course there are people who've got like, no more tickets um, you're getting like a photo down of course and I think I don't know if you I think a professional person taking the photo because it's saying something you can print your photo so is it like printing the laptop or printing the venue I'm hoping I'm allowed to get uh, take a video message or use my phone because my friend can't manage because because she wanted to come and she can't because of, she's working but I want to get a, a video message to make up but I hope I can do that but I noticed like a lot of fans were complaining at the time and even though I do agree with them not mean I think no to and to I think Ticketmaster because they first had it they didn't have like the VIP thing on it and because when I first seen it on AX I thought it doesn't like it didn't give you a good clear saying that um you had to buy a ticket with it or ticket was included but because I seen someone asked on Twitter their Twitter account it said to conclude so I thought why not and <clears throat> sorry offering me and 75 quid is cheap for VIP even though in the past I've seen like other like like artists or bands like their meet and greet space expensive and I don't mind either paying between below that or between 100 because in the past I paid like 100 and I think it was like 120 or 130 and I like to buy meat and greets if I've got a good package for it because it's worth the money I don't like buying things it's like way out of my money and it's not got a good package you know what I mean at all so even though if I can afford it you know what I mean but I just think 75 quid for seeing and meeting Danny in the venue and all these things you're getting I think maybe a couple one or two things but I just can't remember what you get with it. But I just think that's a good offer and I'm excited to see him on the 31st of August in Glasgow. So that is the end of this reviewing Danny's four songs at least. So that was uh, Mud Water, Bad Habits, Signs, Talk of the Morning, and of course, Top of My Opinion and the issue that the tickets for the door. Um, I will put link in the description for the I don't know if tickets are still selling or or the sold it yet but I'll probably put AX and no I don't know what to do but not to do it I'll just put Danny's Twitter from the picture that it's got the tour, tour dates on it and if you want to have a look um, either check Ticketmaster or AX 
if there's any type of left because I'm not too sure if there's any left or they're still selling so I'm not 100% sure because I haven't checked recent but if you want to do that have a check and um, that is the end of this video and uh, thank you so much for watching this even though sometimes I've been a bit hard because I've been coughing and but hey if you watch the so nine which we are still a thing Glasgow at the moment which I'm so happy but it's just I hate having hay fever so I think that's but it's just so hard in total but give it a uh, thumbs up when you're watching it um, if this is the first video you're watching or you've watched another couple of videos then press the subscribe button don't mind you you can do it if you want to or if you enjoy watching videos press it if you've or just subscribe to my channel and watch and comment videos. Thank you very much for taking the time to do that. Very nice of you. And um, press the little bell because that will give you more notifications when I upload again. And I'll see you again soon. I'll upload another video. Thank you and bye.